Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be discussing about uh, how to use FFMPG library inside PHP script and we will be using the open source uh, PHP wrapper library for FFMPG. It's uh, basically a driver library which connects the FFMPG library inside your PHP scripts and uh, for this guys you need to be having FFMPG installed on your system. FFMPG is an open source uh, video processing library and audio processing also it's completely cross-platform you can download this inside your operating system it can be downloaded on Mac, Linux and Windows after downloading it guys you just need to open command line and just type this command ffmpg if the command is successful then uh, obviously you have installed this software on your computer and also you need to install exam control panel guys for working with PHP inside Windows so it is also cross-platform and you can also download for Linux, Mac and Windows as well. So after doing that you can start your Apache localhost on uh, port number 80. After that guys inside uh, my root directory you can see it is currently empty. Now we will install the dependency using Composer. Composer is a dependency manager for PHP similar to pip and uh, npm. You need to install this, simply download this, next next instruction is there. After installation, we just need to copy this command here in, and paste it inside the command line. Enter and now basically guys it will install this dependency. It will create a composer.json file inside our root directory, you will see that. And now this library has been successfully installed inside the root directory now we can work with it to convert videos from one format to another and we can split the videos, cut it, merge it we can also add a watermark image to the videos all these examples I will show so this is a very basic example which is given here how to use this library inside the PHP script right here we can make an index.php script here paste this code uh, obviously you need to wrap it inside the PHP tags paste it so in the very first line guys we are requiring the actual library which is there inside the vendor folder we are requiring this auto load file which is requiring the actual library after that it is just creating a new instance of FFMPG and it is now converting this video to mp4 let me just uh, you can also convert to multiple formats at the same time using the save function it is also uh, resizing the video but we don't want to resize it so we can simply remove this line and uh, it is also taking the screenshot of the video at a particular second so we can uh, do it like third second in the third second we need to take the screenshot and we need to save it as frame.jpg and then we are converting this video to mp4, wmv and webm and the video file we need to record guys so I think it is inside the videos folder this is the video is there mkb file is there so I can simply copy this file and paste it inside htdocs our directory is ffmpg so let me open this directory in file explorer let me paste this So let me re rename this video guys, so let me rename to video, that's it and let me rename to video.mkv So now guys first of all it will take the screenshot at the third second of this video and save it as frame.jpg in the root directory and then it will save this, uh, export this to mp4, wmb and webm so now it is very simple to execute this PHP script just go to the browser and type here localhost php ffmpg 
that's it and now basically it will take some time guys so to execute it so you just need to claim you can see that it has created frame.jpg it has taken the screenshot and it has saved this as frame.jpg it has converted to .mp4 you need to give some time to this process guys as you know that ffmpg takes some time to convert the videos so it is a very resource intensive process so you just need to give some time so it has exported this video to mp4 it is still converting to mp4 so it's a long video long size video you will see that if i open this it is 6 minutes long video so it will take some time because it's a mkv video so mkv videos are very much very large videos so you can just see the size it is around about 438 megabytes if i show you the properties 428 megabytes it has taken the screenshot you will see that the quality of the screenshot is looking quite good so basically in the next videos i will be showing you how to use this library to make uh, fully applications in php html and javascript how to take user input and depending upon that we can take the screenshot of the video so in the next videos i will be showing you all the process it is still converting it so just wait so you will see that guys uh, all these uh, operations can be done around it you can manipulate the audio channels audio kilo bitrate you can also show the progress for all these details i will be showing you in the later videos this is just an introductory video on how to use this library how to install it and use it it's a very basic example you can cut the video at its desired point you can put the seconds make a new video out of it Let me just uh, stop this process guys, it is taking too much time and I don't want to uh, wait, uh, waste your time. Instead we can do it, let me delete this. So what we can do is that we can cut the video, it is very easy. The code is pretty simple if you go to the github repository it has given this code. It can cut the video. So basically you need to provide the seconds here guys. So we need to only cut the video through 0 to 30 seconds, you will see that. So you need to first of all provide uh, the starting time and the ending time. So in between 15 to 30 seconds we need to cut this video and we need to save it as video.avi. So now we can run this PHP script once again. This is the screenshot which has created successfully guys, you can see that.
these are very large videos guys that's why you are seeing this uh, you can also rotate videos using this rotate method you can uh, put all these uh, you can also add watermarks as well so in the next videos i will be showing you all these uh, methods how to use them in proper applications using javascript how to take user input and make all these filters using ffmpg inside php now guys you can see that the video has successfully been created if i open this So you can see here exactly this is 15 seconds which is cut here from 15 to 30 seconds it has uh, cut that video so this is the clip feature which is exactly working it is taking it too much time but uh, in the later tutorials I will show you how to reduce this time how not to uh, take so much time you can also make a gif out of it convert video to gif you can concatenate multiple videos also like this so it's a very complicated library guys you can do a lot of things using this so in the later tutorials I will be showing you how to have all this so at this moment of time guys I am ending this video so definitely check out this PHP FFMPG library it's very awesome please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also guys please hit the if you uh, like this video then please hit the donate button which is super thanks button which is available inside at the bottom of each video of mine I got that super thanks feature inside my videos so you will find that button if you like this please donate to the channel this will be very much useful your comment will be highlighted that uh, if I just show you at the bottom of this video a special button will be there with the help of which you can make a donation if you like this in any of these videos so super thanks button you can click this button to make a donation so just put 40, 100, 200 so this is the button so thanks so much guys for watching this video I will be seeing you in the next video